Hey, what's up, super fans? I'm JD Brown, and welcome back to the I Love Vampire Novels YouTube channel. Today, I am reviewing a newer ish book from Atlas Rose. I'm talking, of course, about Bewitch Her, book number one in the Descended from a Witch series. I'm also going to be telling you how you can win a copy of Bewitch Her this week, and I'm going to announce a winner from one of our previous giveaways. So sit tight because all that starts right now. Rose is a paranormal romance author who is more commonly known for her Chosen by a Vampire series. However, she has recently released, I believe, three new books. They are the Descended from a Witch trilogy. And like I said, today I'm going to be telling you all about the first book in that series, which is this one right here, Bewitch Her. So our story takes place in a fantasy realm where witches and magic are real and they're very feared by the rest of the kingdom. The most evil of these witches is the Black Viper, but fortunately at the beginning of our story, the Black Viper has been captured and imprisoned. However, she is pregnant with triplets girl triplets at this time, and she ends up giving birth to her triplets while in the dungeon. However, there are some complications with the birth, and she ends up passing away very soon after uh, delivering her third daughter. However, before she passes away, the Black Viper warns everyone that her triplets are cursed. They are part of a prophecy where if the three girls are allowed to live and prosper, that they will then usher in a era of peace and unity among the kingdom. However, if anyone should harm any of her daughters, then the kingdom will instantly be cursed. Because of this prophecy, the three babies were separated and taken to three different castles in three completely different parts of the world. And they were pretty much raised, locked behind the castle walls, never allowed outside, and pretty much kept a secret from the rest of the world. Now our heroine is actually the witch's third daughter. Her name is Ever. She is an adult now. And like I said, she has pretty much grown up prisoner within this castle. She's never ever been allowed to go outside and leave the castle. And even when she roams around the castle, she's always accompanied by a chaperone. And the only time that she is allowed some solitude is when she's locked up in her room. And I do mean that literally there is a lock on her bedroom door. There's also a lock on her window. And so basically she just really, really wants to leave and she's very curious about the world. Every situation changes one night when a thunderstorm ushers in a premonition. Ever gets this magical vision of the king's men being abusive and harassing the villagers. And there is this magic stone in her vision. Now, this is a big, large stone. I kind of envision it to be kind of like a big boulder that looks kind of like Stonehenge. But either way, there is a lot of magic coming from the stone and reaching out to her and giving Ever this vision that compels her to leave the castle once and for all. So using the energy of this thunderstorm, Ever is able to conjure enough power to use her magic to escape the castle. And she sets off on this journey into the world to find this magic stone. Unfortunately, Ever runs into trouble almost immediately because as soon as she leaves the castle, she realizes that three witch hunters called Hexers have been sent after her to hunt her down and bring her back. So not only does Ever have to figure out how to survive in the world for the first time ever while trying to track down this magical stone that she had a premonition about, but she also has to do all of that while dodging these three hexes who are after her. Now, as you can imagine, the hero in this story is one of those three hexers. He is this delicious looking witcher guy on the cover here. His name is Wilds. Wilds and his two brothers are witch hunters who have been enhanced with magic 
They are bigger, stronger, and faster than the average human male. The hexes were actually created whenever and her sisters were born. They were magically linked to the girl so that if one of them should ever escape or become uncontrollable, the hexes could then hunt them down and take them out. However, one of the powers that allows the Hexers to track the girls is actually the one thing that allows Wilds and Evers to fall in love long before they even catch up to her. This power is the ability for Wilds to see and communicate with Ever whenever they're both asleep. So even while Ever is trying to escape the Hexers, she is actually getting to know Wilds in her dreams. And it isn't long before the two of them fall in love. Again, this is a romance. And by the time the Hexers do catch up with Ever, Wilds has convinced his brothers that Ever is innocent and does not deserve to be captured. And so the boys decide to actually switch sides and team up with Ever to help save the kingdom from a king who is actually very corrupt. And like I said, I am giving away this copy today. I will let you know in just a minute how you can enter for your chance to win. But first, I'm going to announce a winner from one of our previous giveaways. So congratulations to Mackenzie Bates. Mackenzie, you are the winner of Guardian of Magic by Jessica Wayne. I will be in touch with you after this to let you know how you can claim your prize. And to enter this week's giveaway for a chance to win this copy of Bewitch Her by Atlas Rose, all you have to do is leave a comment down below with the name of your favorite book by Atlas Rose, or if Atlas Rose is a new to you author, let us know that in the comments as well, and you will automatically be entered to win. And that's all the time I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And don't forget to click on that subscribe button and bell icon down below so that you don't miss any of our future book review videos or giveaways. And I will see you again real soon.